Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of a feature that I really, really like in VS Code. This is going to be super simple, so I'm not going to take too much time. So first things first, I want to give credit where credit's due. I first saw this technique in Rach Smith's tweets here. You can, you can follow her. I'll have the link to her Twitter profile in the description if you don't already follow her. Uh, she's a, a great person to follow. So if you, like I said, if you don't already follow her, give her a follow. So I first saw this technique on her Twitter feed here, and it's a feature that you might not have known existed. Let's say you have a function or literally anything. It could be like a React component or something like that. And you've decided that the name of this component is no longer what you want, right? Maybe for some reason this has changed. So let's think about this. I have a, a component here that's named header and I have a style which is header wrapper. Now header wrapper made more sense when this header component uh, was not living on its own. Since it's inside of the header and I'm not exporting this wrapper anywhere else, I mean, maybe I could change the name from header wrapper to simply wrapper because it's a wrapper within header, right? Now, not saying you, that's the best course of action, but this is a good example. Now, one way you could do this is by coming in here and changing, okay, wrapper. I have a uh, an extension to change the bottom one as well. And then you'd have to come in here and change the definition. Now, a quicker way to do that is to simply just select the function, the component, or whatever it is you're talking about, and then you can hit F2. If you have one of these fancy new Macs with the um, touch bar, you have to hit function to get the F keys to show up. F2. And then you get this nice little box underneath your uh, declaration here. And we can change this just by deleting the word header and changing it to wrapper. Now watch closely on line 22 where it says const header wrapper hit enter, and it's now changed to wrapper. Now this is super duper handy because as you can tell, I just did all that in one keystroke, it changed everything, and uh, I didn't have to go hunting for the definition. If you have something like a styled component or even just general functions, right, this isn't limited to React or something like that, it's going to update both the current one as well as the definition. So if you hate your function's name and you want to modify it, check out F2 in VS Code. It's going to allow you to update that function as well as the definition name. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.